Hi, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. I am currently being invaded, and so, um, yeah, we're going to see how that's going to go, especially with this new area here. There he is. Yeah. Is this no way I mean I don't know I should just let him kill me I guess um, because we're not gonna we're not gonna get much accomplished <laughs> How did you get me from there? Come on. I guess I should do this semi. <laughs> Honorably. How did... How did that not parry him? Oh, I guess I should... What I should have done is, um... Go offline. So I don't get invaded by this guy. Constantly. Um... Well, I might have to restart for that to actually... Actually happen, so... We might just get invaded by that guy constantly, unfortunately. Or can I do it in the settings? Just like I have to restart the game, I believe. Okay. And that's one thing I do not like about this weapon. Um, is that it, it does not do a ton of poise breaking unless you're slamming like that. Now at this point, since we did clear this area, we can just, I believe this, they don't follow you egregiously here. Okay. Perfect. All right, so now, there's a bunch of these guys here without a, uh, a body, so we're going to have to get to them. Oops. These guys can't climb ladders, fortunately. Or maybe they do not. Well, you can't. Them. Oh, they release poison when they die often. I forgot about that. And they, she didn't, but they should. 
Okay, so I'm just going to run in here and I'm going to attempt to take out these guys. This is the way I do this. I don't know if there's like a, a better way to do this. But, you know, basically... Yeah. If you want, I'm not going to leave these guys alive on second thought, so... Well, okay, so I guess... What might have changed here is that they're not like five guys in this room. So, like, yeah, I believe that's all of them. This is an interesting crossbow, actually. Love Big Shack. Oh, there's one more. We can keep that one alive. I mean, there's still plenty of guys here, but before this, like, it, there was like five guys in here, so you had to, like, run around and just break them and then kite them all out and kill them individually. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so I have the one alive so we can kind of look at it. So yeah, it has like a a glow to it, and uh, his arms are crossed, but yeah, other than that, it's just those guys. Eternal Sanctum Key. Key to the inner chamber of the Eternal Sanctum. The Sunken King erected the Eternal Sanctum to shelter Sin, the dragon. The sanctum appears to be a solemn temple, but it is filled with devilish creatures that ensure no trespasser shall cause offense. So, yeah, it was called the Dragon Sanctum. So I guess that means sanctuary for the dragon, as if it were respected. The Sanctum Knights renounced their own flesh to eternally guard the Sanctum from Sir Yorg and his Drake Blood Knights. So it looks like there was another group of people that wanted access to Sin. They were called Drake Bloods. of life. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that got damaged. I don't know what's in that. And then that opens this door, so now we can do a shortcut instead of... like... Like, why doesn't that knock him? Oh my gosh. Why didn't that knock him down? That's crazy. So yeah, I guess if you want a ton of bomb, you can just farm these guys. Can I attract one of these guys?
I'm not sure why I didn't get hit there. We have one or two things to take care of before we... There's a door here and an item there. Um... Um, I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna grab those things, actually. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. Dragon stone. An extremely solid stone used to operate the Eternal Sanctum contraption. The heirloom of a race that discovered a dragon worshipped its magnificence and perished by its side. Looks like it could be the thing that was on that first door with the runes circling it. Alright. I always use more torches so that no one ever all right and there's a ring over here I don't remember which ring it was it was like a boy, blood bite or something yeah All right, oh, and I should have taken care of this one. I was up here. Actually, I'm gonna go through and take care of this guy here. So I hit that other thing and then it opened up the door up here. So we can jump across. But first, I'm going to try to do this because there's a. what you do here yeah you have to shoot it from up there then shoot it from down here and then I think you can just do it from down here again no it's a clever little thing although you know it's kind of like a waste of time but, I mean, it's, like, cool to figure this out, you know? Like, it does feel much more like a puzzle than some of the things in Dark Souls. Okay, it just does that. Alright. Can I... Oh, why can I roll? I'm, I must have... Probably something you guys have been screaming if at the screen. If... Let's go with dark arrows next. And iron. Hmm. So I must have done something else, I don't remember. Alright, so there's a hex in here. That was in I think it was in Demon's Souls, and then it was 
it, it was technically in, well, not technically, it technically wasn't, but it was in the cut content for Dark Souls 1, and then it's in this game and the third. T denial or tears of denial. An ancient miracle owed to the Cardinal of Shulva. Challenge fate one time when HP reaches zero. Originally intended to grant the dying a few moments for a final farewell. So just a cool little miracle where if you die you get brought back with one HP. So it doesn't prevent you from an onslaught but it prevents you that if you were to die you can at least be saved and heal real quick. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to go back to Majula and repair the, the third dragon ring, but we get that crossbow. Crossbow wielded by Sanctum Knight, strong attack fires dark bolts. These guardian knights were sentenced to internal stewardship of the sanctum in a clandestine ritual carried out to the great in the great depths. But today the sanctum receives an area visitor. Um yeah I guess I'll go back and I'll level up. And repair the ring. Maybe the ring is what was making me overburdened, but that doesn't make any sense because it's supposed to increase your carry equip load. I knew. I'll be around if you make it. Um. Okay. So if I do. Oh wow. I mean, I guess it's you know it's a soldier ring plus one, but. It gives you uh, HP and stamina as well. As well, I don't know if that's worth it. I guess we'll rock it with this for now. But um, get up to forty there, and then I guess we'll be pumping decks so that we can. Wait, is it only twelve? I need to wield it. Cause then just put it in there, and then I don't have to worry about. Like I can actually do damage. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, who sells arrows? Goblon sells poison arrows. I actually can't think of who sells arrows right now. That's weird. Oh, I guess she probably does. I don't need anything in particular. I just. I knew. Um. Oh, by the way, we didn't talk about this too. She carries everyone who you kill their stuff, and in some cases, it's stuff that you never had a chance to read, like Targaryen's stuff and uh, Nar Alma or whatever his name is. Grichi or take. I don't remember. Um, so uh, we'll we'll look at this at some point. Um, yeah, so she doesn't. Lively, huh? Let's uh, let's just jump over to um, let's jump over to uh, Goblin and grab just a bunch of poison arrows. In fact, we'll just buy as many as we can. I know there's not a lot of souls in uh, the DLC. Like, do I have any consumable souls? Oh, I do. So, maybe I'll just buy as much with these. Like, just, you know. Who cares? Okay. Maybe. All right, I'm back.
back to the DLC. Oops. Hit my uh, sound off. Okay. So, let us continue down into the sanctum. Thanks for giving me plenty of time to come behind you and uh, take you out. Did we read the helm? I think we did. Yeah, so we learned about Sir Yorg. Oh, I should have bought more of uh, Life Gems. There's nothing this way. Okay. So now, my least favorite part of the DLC. Well, least favorite part of the part I play of the DLC. Chester Thomas. He's like actually a tough enemy. It's a super punishable one. But he plays like a real player, it's just shocking. Ugh. I fell right into that. He like gestures and everything. Oh yeah, there's like a... for the warmth. I don't know if that means Jester Thomas was in Sanctum, or if he in my timeline has traveled back to Sanctum. So now this would imply that this might be Isolith, because like there's these weird things here. that are not worth fighting, just like in Isolith. I'm gonna try to fight one, but that's it. They're actually not too bad. They certainly look like uh, dragons. I wonder if they like change their health because I remember those guys being quite tough. That wasn't bad at all. Um, so I guess I'll take them out um, and clear this out. thing is when you get multiple of them fighting at you. But 
I guess I'll light this and then not rest. That way, you know, if we die, we can spawn, but I don't need to like repair my gear. Since they uh, they fire this dark magic, which is terrible. Is there only the one left? Uh. How did that not... Must not have hit him or something. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Those fun things. So there's this thing up here uh, where we can place the dragon stone. We're going to do that in a second because I'm just going to grab this stuff. More bright stone. Big chunk of it. Drake blood, great sword. Great sword wielded by the Drake Blood Knights, led by Honorable Sir Yorg. The insignia chiseled upon its hilt symbolizes dragon's blood. To the Drake Blood Knights, fresh dragon blood was sac was sacrosanct. They believed that by that by obtaining it, they could achieve a true understanding of life, transcending their own banal banal existence. I say banal. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, um, looks like the uh, the um, the Drake Bloods were seeking to find sin so that they could kill it and eat it, drink its blood, and transcend their humanity. So that completes a bridge. I don't know why. I mean, I guess the implication from that one message was that the king of this land, like, was trying to protect the slumbering dragon. And, um, from Sir Yorg. So I guess this is all part of that thing where they were just trying to stop them by putting puzzles and traps and then in here and I don't know. So this is our first uh, shortcut. Um, it leads us here with a new a now completed path. But we're going to take it up. So we actually create the shortcut. 
and rest at the bonfire that's, I guess, closest to this. Yeah, again, here's a good example of, you know, Dark Souls 2 doing, you know, a level design that, you know, is like the stuff you know, that you see in, you know, the first one where it's like it keeps looping you back on itself and the level changes and and you can go and blah 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 but people still love to complain about Dark Souls still not doing that at all. Then I'm gonna send this up just in case I die, which is certainly likely. go back into the top of the Dragon Sanctum. I guess what would be kind of cool is if there were like, if there was like a, like not just stone walls, but see-through walls that you could kind of see where when you're traveling, like an area that you're going to see in here, because this kind of just goes down the center of it. And um, it would be cool if you could kind of see the level that you encountered earlier. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come across Drake Blitz, who successfully made it into the sanctum. And I'm gonna try to parry these guys. They kind of look like elite knights, which would which would place them uh, uh, they would be in Astora. These guys are definitely tanks. They kind of function like like you know. NPCs or whatever. Okay. I knew there was like twinkling tight twinkling um crystal lizards. Oh they're there. And I always hate getting those guys. see that there are four open um, chests. Not sure what was in those. I don't know if there's a popular theory. I haven't really seen a lot of lore stuff on the DLCs. So, um, This always... I'm always like unclear what's the best way to go because like um kinda wanna try to get everything. There was a Drake blood there normally. Um, Yeah, I don't know, like, if going to that side gets us anything. If 
I should attempt it or if I should just continue down this path. Because you can't go back up here, but you can like just go down. <laughs> Forget where the thing is. Is it here? Okay. Here. And I'll just rest. Sanctum interior. All right. So again, this is one of those things we can go this way. Interesting. One of these is lit. One is not. So you can continue down here to actually play the boss, but let's go um, fight these guys. Try and get down their timing. These guys definitely can tank. I can just try to do this the normal way, but you know. I think the implication is that the Drake Bloods just cleared this whole place out. But I don't know. Is there anything left in these? Okay. Black Helm of the Drake Blood Knights, who came from a long Land long forgotten. The Drake Blood Knights, who worshipped the blood of dragons, were led by Sir Yorg in a siege of the Eternal Sanctum, but sunk into the Sanctum when the slumbering dragon awoke. The red cloth wrapped around their black armor represents the sacred blood of dragons. I assume it's going to be the same for each of these items. So you can cosplay those guys. I don't know what uh, shield they use, I guess. Um, you'd have to, I don't know if that's an item that you find or what, but. All right, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can jump here. Uh, and then I guess we can jump here. Is there more? Yeah, I think there's more drag bloods here. Okay. Twinkling. I 
I guess we can just try and backstab him. Oh, no, we can't. Like, is that a shield that's in the game? I think it is. It's the spirit tree shield or whatever it's called. But yeah, it'd be interesting to read that and see. There's some silky smooth stone, which makes sense because it's found all over. couple of <gasps> excuse me there's a couple of um, summons you can have here I don't know this one I think this is DLC related Steelheart Ellie or I could do my buddy Ben Hart I think there's even another one for the DLC. You can have three in this fight. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely gonna get Ben Hart. I think I'll just keep it to that. I'm actually not great with um with this boss. Um but undoubtedly she's the one that um is singing so it's been hard I haven't seen you in a while I just need like damage like I need to like So yeah, you can see there's this dragon image. We saw this earlier in the undead crypt. <laughs> it's just greedy. Yeah, this is not gonna be tough at all, I don't say. The only thing is just like whoever she summons, she can summon uh she can summon uh Bell Stopped. sure if like having this guy be alive makes it so that having it so that she can't summon anything else that might help but it doesn't look like she's gonna be any bit of a problem at all Take this. So Valana, squalid queen. <laughs> now that we beat the woman singing, I guess the idea is that she's singing the dragon asleep. However, we saw him awake, so I don't know if that. That means whatever, but now we can actually get into the sanctum and fight sin. Sanctum Nadir, yes. So who do we got? Transcendent Eddie or Abbas Fiva? Um, what is this guy's deal? He looks like a 
a dragon, you know, he's the dragon sanctuary guardian of the dragon shrine. It's interesting that he's here. And uh, I assume that she's going to be a cleric, which means I guess that she, she's got a chime and nothing. So <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I need some firepower against this. I don't know what miracles she would cast, but let's do both. I mean, why not? Sin is is a great fight. Um, actually, you know, I'd have to practice it if I were to do it alone, just because uh, if he focuses all of his time on me, I have to get really, like, whatever. And I suppose... Uh, I do have Poison Moss. I might as well put, um, just in case, the Dragon Charm, so that um, I don't uh, get toxic. How the thing, the the area that you fight changes. I love how it's um, its flames are poisonous, linking poison with that whole area. Oh great. And an is. Yeah, this is a bad idea, I think. Just because now I'm just stuck with a really powerful dragon, and I'll have to do it alone anyway. So, next time I'll do one or none. Like get it down to like yeah, this is not probably going to be very Maybe we'll do it. If Transcendent Eddie can keep it together, I can whittle him down and then probably take care of the last.
Oh, great. Dragon charm. place to heal. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, that was just like a complete delayed response. Oh my gosh. Don't die. Ring. Let's fit everything together by reading all of these items. Then we get the crown of the Sunken King. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Um, so... Crown of the sunken king who once ruled this land. The king erected the eternal sanctum below the earth to worship the great dragon. But the towering bulwark crumbled with the city shortly after the dragon's awakening. But these were events of long ago, and today no one even remembers the king's name. Um, Yorg's ring. Sir, ring of Sir Yorg, who sought the blood of a dragon and invaded Shulva. When Sir Yorg faced Sin, the slumbering dragon, he drew blood with a flash of his steel, but Sin responded by spewing forth the poison that had long brewed within him, blanking the city in a miasmic cloud. That's, so that's the story of this DLC. It, it occurs to me, now that I want to read um, Alana or uh, Alana's soul, that I didn't read the soul of Mashandra. Possibly. Um, so let's try this. Uh, fragments of the abyss of untold origin nourished their beings by the sides of would-be monarchs. Perhaps they were simply ordeals of the, on the road to King Idea. I guess we did read this. But here with Alana, soul of Alana, the Squalid Queen, who rests beside the slumbering dragon of the Eternal Sanctum. This child of dark accompanies the dragon, slowly amassing souls in anticipation of the coming day of vengeance. This wonder soul of this auger of wrath can be used to acquire numerous souls. So, Nashandra and, Al and Alana are both fragments of Manus. Shards of Manus or whatever you'd say. So Alana is another. And she had a similar story to Nashandra in that she came and kind of corrupted the sunken king here. But I, I'm suspecting we'll learn about that story from the items you can make from her soul. And we have Sin, soul of Sin the dragon, who sleeps in the lowermost steps of this land. The king erected a magnificent city, and the dragon slept soundly, until Sir Yorg disturbed it with a single great strike, and the dragon could bear its store of poison no longer. The reign of death toppled the city, but restored the dragon's purity. So yeah. There you go. Um, so another thing we can do here is after we get each um, um, 
uh, what do you what what do you uh, crown? When you get crown, um, you can go talk to Vendrick via the Ashen Mist Heart, and and then that will. Uh, Give us some information on the Sunken King or something. My friend told me that there's just three of these guys. Gotta make sure not to like ring the bell myself. three, then this bell won't be rung. Which just seems like a change made to slow people down, but it didn't look like, it doesn't look like if you run through this area fast. Here, I'm gonna kill you. Well, no, I don't um, it doesn't, you know, you can get through this area pretty quickly, which is still good. And the last thing I'm going to do before we um, call it a day, call it an episode, is um, go back to Majula and try to read everything from Malincha. Sorry I killed you earlier. Seeker of fire, deliverer of crowns. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. The crowns hold the strength of lords from times long past. Seek adversity. As befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I think we heard this before. I am no king. I am more fit to be a jester. I was unaware of my own blindness. We are feeble vessels with feebler souls. We would cast aside the prop of life only to face greater hardship. Are you another such fool or something more? I fail to see your design, young moth. But I see very little these days. Young moth. A moth f f goes towards the flame. Um, I realize there's a whole area of uh, the DLC we didn't do. Um, so I guess we'll end this episode and then we'll start with that and maybe do a few other things. Um, but thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.